Okay, folks, so here we are, and this is painting, seventh period. Today's Friday the 13th. It is 11.07, and we're going to do attendance. We're going to talk about format change and stuff. I'm just waiting for people to show up. Where'd my pen go? Someone else is here. Hello, somebody. Oh, I forgot to do the thing. Hold on. All right, let me just do a quick check. Sound, camera one, camera two, camera three is out right now. And, all right. and whoever's here, I'm waiting just about three more minutes um, before I start doing attendance. So exciting to find out who's here. A little light on attendance today. Waiting. All right. In yeah, three minutes, I'm going to start playing to an empty room here, as they say. I still have hope. Don't worry. There's the bell. Hey, Ashley, what's a happening? All right, Ashley. I'm going to wait. Oh, Emily's here. Now I feel better about the entire world. Okay. Um, all right. Since you guys showed up, let me make you officially here. Ashley and Emily, you are officially here and accounted for. All right, so I am going to tell you what's going on here. Oops, wrong thing. Okay, so I'm going to run through how we have completely changed the format, if you haven't heard about that yet. I'm the first to tell you. Oh, well, okay. And then I'm going to tell you about the schedule, tell you a little bit about the still life finishing up, grades and then the next assignment coming up so here we go i'm going to switch cameras to the main website so if you haven't gotten this paper copy in the mail or emailed to you or you know whatever it is um i'm going to tell you a number of places to find it one 
is right here on my web page. Two, it's on the school's web page. Three, I sent you a PDF copy of it in Google Classroom today, and you are definitely getting one in the mail probably today because I think they made this decision on Wednesday. So we, if you haven't heard, we are going to be apart from one another until further notice, which is super sad because it is, it is very lonely here without you. Uh, so right here, effective November 16th, that would be Monday, the following changes will take place for all students and remain in effect until further notice. All right, so here's what you need to know. For the most part, the schedule, the timing stays the same that we have been doing. Here are some things that change. Cohort A, Cohort B, and all remote students will all attend the Google Meet at 1110 on Monday and 11.10 on Tuesday, and 11.10 on Thursday, and 11.10 on Friday. So I will open up a Google Meet, and the link is on the Google Classroom site. You'll click on that, and then let me go to painting, all right, to give you the layout. So paint week 11.12, and each week, folks, I will have the dates, and this laid out because uh, one of the biggest obstacles we are going to have together, and I mean we as in student and teacher during this time, is communication and potential misunderstanding. All right. Um, so I'm going to try to keep it as clear as possible, and that's my me doing my part. You doing you your part is you're going to if you don't understand something contact me as soon as possible. Don't wait until the last week like some people when I said, okay, everything's due. I'm putting grades in on the 11th and today I'm getting stuff. I, you know, I didn't understand. Okay, so don't wait till the last minute. It's not good for you. It's not good for us. All right, so November 16th. That's Monday, folks. So here's how it's going to go. Uh, at 11.10, I'm going to open up the Google Meet and in the first five minutes, I'm going to do attendance. Okay, so it's a, going to be a lot more students than we're used to, so it's going to take me a little bit longer and technical issues and all that good stuff. So first five minutes, I take attendance, and then after that, you are absent. Okay, so don't show up at, you know, email me at 1.15 and say, oh, well, I meant to be there. Tough luck, Chuck. You are absent. All right, so first five minutes. Then I'm going to do a video demonstration. So... I will pre-record, and there's a purpose, two purposes for this. I'm going to pre-record my lessons, and they will be available on YouTube. All right, so we'll get there, and I will play it for you in class. And they'll, it'll vary depending on the day. Sometimes I'll do it live, and sometimes I'll have a video. And the two purposes are, one, if a student misses the class, then they can go back and watch the video on YouTube Another purpose would be if you didn't understand something as I was going through it or you had technical issues or whatever it might be, you can refer back to it later. You're not missing out on that, that instruction. The other great reason for it is then I only have to do it once. Okay, um, That way I have two painting classes. I can just play it for the second class. And if a student misses it, I don't have to explain the whole thing over again. It's already recorded. So those will take anywhere from five to ten minutes. Um, and then the rest of the time is what I would consider in class studio time. So this really hasn't changed much from the physical you know, space that we were together. I usually go through the attendance and then I talk for five to ten minutes about what we're doing, either introducing a new assignment or reviewing what we're, our goals are, and then I give you time. Okay, so there's our new format, um, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th. By the end of the week, whatever we're working on is due. So part of Friday's day will be uh, photographing it and submitting it in Google Classroom. Okay, so that's, at least for right now, the simplest, clearest way I have come up with uh, for working in this new format. Okay, so uh, grades. Grades. I didn't do grades yet, did I? Okay, grades. Uh, the Here, let's go back to me for a second because why not? 
and that way I can check to see. Mackenzie's awesomely here. Let me make Mackenzie here. Yay, Mackenzie. All right. And folks, if you're watching out there and you can't live chat, just email me. I have my phone right here and I'm checking as we go. Okay, squeaky. Yeah, squeaky chair. All right. Uh, grades, grades, grades. So uh, I'm all done with the grades, folks. Uh, I have closed off the grades for first quarter. Uh, all my comments are done. Lovely to have in class, which is such a weird thing to say. But um, anyway, they're all done. I'm I'm submitting them around one o'clock, one thirty today, and we're finished with that. That's behind us. So moving forward into the next quarter, next week we're going to have a little like cleaning up to do, meaning uh, we've got to put the still life grades in, any other grades that have been kind of hanging out there in limbo um, while we were waiting for the first quarter to finish up. The pop art, just chill on the pop art um, because... Either I'm not sure when we're going to get back to it, or um, that brings up the next idea. So supplies. Um, I am probably going to be sending you more supplies this next week. And I bought uh, on Amazon a whole bunch of these little plastic containers for paint. And they are smaller than I thought. Um, I should have checked the measurements. I thought they were a different kind. So they're very, it's like an ounce of each kind of paint. Um, cause I want to send acrylic paint home for some of the paintings and that canvas paper that we started the pop art on. Um, so I'm going to try to put that all together by next Wednesday. And, um, so that everybody's name will be on their own plastic bag, just like I sent home the watercolor stuff in and the canvas paper will be in there. A paint set will be in there and potentially more brushes, but I got to see what we have. And so those are supplies for the future. All right, next. Oh, I see something cool. Okay, there's the main website. We're all used to that. Oh yeah, yeah, That's we've seen that before. That's not that cool. Okay, but that's cool. There's Mackenzie's painting. That turned out really, really awesome, by the way. Um, I can't remember. Mackenzie, what year is this for you? Is this Sophomore year, junior year, I don't know. Tell me in the live chat. Um, we are submitting work, and this is open to all of you. I didn't mention this yesterday. If you have artwork that you're really jazzed about and you want um, considered, I can't say guarantee, but considered for the yearbook this year, they are looking for art, and I'm trying to get it to Miss Bayette as soon as possible. So um, if you want to send me stuff, uh, I'll send it on to her. It would be cool. You'd be in the yearbook. You would be immortal. Okay, so let's get to what we're supposed to do. Next week, uh, I'm going to cover this on Monday, but I just wanted to give you a little taste of this because I am super excited about this, this program. Uh, let me get this out of the way. Okay, the program, and I just found this yesterday, so if you already knew it, you could say, geez, Carlson, I've known about that forever. Uh, it's called Lunapick. <laughs> like lunatic. All right. So next week we are doing a portrait <clears throat> of who? Of you. And oh, there I am. I look not that one, this one. And uh, we're going to use a filter. And the awesomeness of this program is it's free and um, it's online. So it's available and you don't have to sign up for it. So it's available for a PC, a Mac, and uh, you could use this on uh, a smartphone as well. Um, I, I've tried it and it, it does work. It's a little bit more confusing than a smartphone because you just don't have as much you know, screen real estate and much wiggle room on the screen. But here's the idea. You can take a photo. So you can take a selfie and you can apply this filter. And this particular filter is called the Picasso Art Effect. And here's a photo I found of a model, and this is the effect of the filter. So Monday's class, and I will go through this at nauseum on Monday, but Monday's class will be how to use this filter, 
how to use this software to shoot the picture, to apply the filter, and then to hand in the photo of you with the filter on. And that will be um, one of the assignments for Monday, Tuesday next week. So that goes back to that whole idea of how you know I'm going to introduce it, and then I'll give you time to do it, and then you hand it in. Introduce it, time to do it, hand it in. And then on Friday, we'll put all the grades in. But it is, it is cool. I'm going to just click on it here. And um, I don't think I have a photo ready. I'll do this Monday. I'm just messing around right now. Um, let me go back to me. So, sophomore. Okay, yeah, send me an image. You know what? We, we'll we talk on the side. If you're interested, if you're really interested in art, um, let me know with an email and you have nothing going on during the summer and you just want to get away from your parents, uh, let me know. There's a great program. It's called NISA, New York State Summer School for the Arts, N-Y-S-S-S-A. And it's basically like college, um, but for art school. And for fine arts that you're doing in this class, painting, it takes place down at Fredonia State College. And uh, you live there for a month. You live in dorms, you go to college classes, and you get uh, credit for it, and you put together an amazing portfolio. I've had oh, two to three students go every year for the last, I don't know, 100 years, and um, they've all liked it. My, I went to it when I was 16, and my son ended up going to it as well. Um, I don't know what they're going to do this coming summer, if it would be remote or not, but I don't know, something to think about. So I have been talking and talking about this stuff for... 17 minutes. So what I'm, the cord's messed up. Uh, what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to check my email to make sure no one else signed in. Okay. And I'm going to open up to questions. Do you have any questions about the new format for school? Do you have any questions about how we are working do you have any questions about grades? Do you have any questions about the meaning of life? Yes. Oh, I just I read after McKinsey. Yeah, you can use your own acrylic paint. I just don't want to ever assume that you have supplies or require you to go buy anything or require you to buy apps on a phone or something like that. So... Um, so yeah, you can use your own paints. I mean, realistically, you can get, I don't have any of that size, you can get, I think they're five ounce paints for 50 cents or something. Um, and for what we're doing, those are, those are great. This is really good quality. Chrome Acryl is one of the very high quality acrylic paints. And the craft paints... Oh, I thought, oh, yeah, I got some right here. I have some right here. I got some. Um, Apple Barrel and Anita's. Anita's Paint, okay. And these are, you know, anywhere from 50 cents to $2, depending on the brand. And if there's a sale at AC Moore, Walmart, Joint Fabrics, Hobby Lobby, anything like that. So, uh, those are great too, and they last a long, long time. I have some of these that I've had for five or six years, and I'm st and I use them all the time. It's not that I just sat around, so they go a long way. But uh, you are not required to buy anything for the class. So that takes us right up to 20 minutes. Uh, Ashley said, "Nope, no questions." Um, anybody else? Otherwise, I'm going to shut this down for the weekend. And I'm going to go, yep, you guessed it, camping. Am I all good? Okay. If you think about this after and you go, oh, I should have asked him this, um, just email me. I will be available right up until about 9 o'clock tonight. And then I will be, um, um, I will be in camping. I will be camping. Kenzie, yep. Okay. 
That's it, folks. I'm shutting it down on your market set.